lot of time people are worried what is the future of IT industry how will I survive in the long run after 20 years of experience or how do people survive even today when they are in their 40s or 50s are there enough jobs uh, is the industry going to survive in the long run today we are going to understand the scale of the IT industry and what are the various kind of work happening over here we will just look at the topmost company in India which is TCS in terms of the scale okay and I will take you to TCS website and we will deep dive into some of the facts which are publicly available okay and you can use this kind of research to learn about any company which will give you actually confidence on the scale and the kind of work which is being done and also you will get to know the business functions or domain or technology on which these companies are working and it is not rocket science it is just your ability to click on the right links get to the right data and get that confidence that okay if you are an engineer fresher getting into the industry or if you are a professional with five years or ten years of experience then you are at the right place if you develop right skills there is no need to worry at all okay so let's deep dive into TCS and see some of the facts which I believe will be very good information for all of you so let's deep dive into my laptop all right so this is the TCS home page what I want to draw your attention towards is this investor relation section click on this investor relation okay and this page will open up now when you scroll down and when you reach this investor FAQs, you will see a lot of good information about TCS in general. For example, what is the TCS area of operations? When was TCS founded? What is employee strength of TCS? So TCS has as of April 30th, 6,16,171 employees, which is huge. TCS is headquartered in Mumbai as we know and has a global presence in 50 countries with 187 solution centers in 19 countries. That is how we understand how huge is this company. But what I want you to concentrate on is let's say we go to the latest Q2 results and over here there is a fact sheet okay if i go on the fact sheet it tells you a lot of facts about tcs and i will draw your attention towards some of the key things for example the client base and this is last 12 months service revenues look at this tcs has got more than 50 us 100 million dollar clients can you imagine guys look at this 5900 million plus clients and how many clients with more than one million dollar revenue 1210 one million dollar client guys this is huge and then there are other clients more than 50 million 20 million 10 million 5 million that is why they need six lakh people as their employees because they have so many huge clients and their business is so spread out and their client base is so strong now let us look at the various verticals from where this business is coming so you have got bfsi which is banking finance you have got retail life sciences manufacturing technology and services communication and media and regional market and others so this is the percentage revenue coming from all these verticals so if you are a business analyst or if you are a functional consultant and if you have expertise in one of these you know business areas then you know that TCS is working with customers in these areas and there is an opportunity for you if you have skills or knowledge in these areas and you can very well get a job opportunity in TCS in one of these areas now let's also look at the revenue numbers if you look at this this is a graph telling you the revenue trend revenue is actually the money which they have made by providing various solutions and services this is not the profit but this is the revenue so if you compare q2 of fy22 with q2 of fy23 you can clearly see that the revenue has grown and on the right hand side you can see the trend in the revenue this sometimes goes down sometimes it may remain stable and sometimes it may go up and over here at the bottom you can also see the net margin which is actually the profit which the company is making after all the expenses this is the net profit so in q2 fy22 their net profit was 20.5 percent 
विच वेंट डाउन सिग्निफिकेंटली एंड नाउ इट इज ट्रेंडिंग अपवर्ड्स राइट नाउ इट इज एट एटीन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट और राइट लेट्स लुक एट सम ऑफ द अदर थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल टी सी एस सेज दैट इज सॉ अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड ब्रॉड बेस्ड ग्रोथ फॉर सर्विसेज लेड बाय क्लाउड एंटरप्राइज एप्लीकेशन सर्विसेज एंड साइबर सिक्योरिटी सो फॉर ऑल द टेक्निकल पीपल आउट देर these are the areas in which you should develop skills if you think that you want to work for tcs in future because they have got growth and they've got customers and projects in these areas they see a strong demand and a good pipeline build up in all these areas it also includes iot and digital engineering consulting and services integration now let's also have a look at the various geographies from where the business is coming so you can see the geography percentage tcs gets their revenues from americas tcs gets their re- revenues from europe asia pacific india and middle east as well so this also indicates that in a way tcs is dependent heavily on americas and europe in terms of the revenue growth so anything which happens in these countries is of paramount significance to tcs and its business most of the public companies have made this data available in public and some of the private companies also publish such reports so you can actually deep dive into those reports target 8 to 10 companies where you want to work for in future and read their reports so that you will get an understanding of what their business is in which geography are they working on what clients they are working for example you can look at some of the clients as well if i scroll down i can actually show you some of the clients as well so these are some examples of the customers that tcs has recently won okay and you can read for yourself some of the top companies and customers with which tcs is working so likewise you can actually visit different company websites where you want to work in future and you can go through their reports in detail and understand the geographies in which they work the customers with which they work the domain in which they work and the technology on which they are seeing growth that will give you a very good idea of what do you want to learn and what skills you should develop okay so i hope you understand this as an example and as a method to do the analysis for the companies that you like to work for all right i hope you found this helpful guys do show a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done it already i'll see you in another video very soon till then take care bye for now